Yep. Martin out of the centre in the driving rain, down towards half forward. Cochin leads in the race. Garland right in his hip pocket, close to the line. Cochin keeps it alive. Clever over the shoulder. McIntosh hooks it down towards half forward. In from the side, Lloyd bounces off his chest. Cochin overran it. Garland picked it up. Hurried kick towards the wing. Strong work out there by Brayshaw. Hooley at the back of the pack, though. Tidy is up to Miles. Miles kicks a very high one. Hangs a long time in the air. Going back, Griffiths to no one in particular. Salem heard the voice, Jones. And then Jones out wide. So really big play here. Who wins this one? Vandenberg. Morris waited for it. Protected it. Runs it out in a boundary throw in. So and that rain looks like it might sit in for a while now. Both teams have just got to adjust a little bit. You've just got to play simpler footy at times, maybe not use that extra handball. Choose to kick, get into the dangerous part of the ground, make the defenders nervous. Well, Melbourne is a high kicking to handball ratio team this year. You don't think they'll change anything right now. And that one allowed to come out. Revolt, so he's a long way from goal. Duck talked about the fact he'd had so many disposals in that opening term, 11. Six kicks, five inside 50s, yet didn't really hit the scoreboard. No, he didn't. And he's right on top of Tom McDonald. So you just like him getting those balls inside 50, having direct shots at goal. So this getting heavier now. Mitchie from the half forward flank. The sub, end of the game. High ball towards the pocket. Marriage goes back and forces a behind. Which stretches the lead. Melbourne out by three now. Early going, third term. In these conditions, I reckon that kick from 70 out there has got to land the top of the goal square or maybe even 10, 15 metres out because defenders aren't going to mark the ball in these conditions. So it becomes really dangerous, real panicky as Hogan. Great grab, great intercept. Vandenberg takes the hand pass and misses a golden opportunity. Massive opportunity, as you just said, Lingy, in these conditions. To nail that one puts the Tigers under real pressure early in this third. This rain. Very heavy, and that's a beautiful kick. Rance juggles it, runs to the wing, sets it to space, running back with the flat of it, Revolt. Bounces obligingly for him, makes that turn, snaps it behind. Once again, Jack uh, didn't have the op didn't want the option of grabbing the ball and running direct the goal. Wanted to step onto that left foot and hook the ball rather than kick a drop punt. And I know we've been harping on these conditions. It, it is only a couple of minutes into this quarter, but if you do kick the ball on a drop punt, it's going to skid through in these conditions. You've just got to put it on line. So kicking across the body, the snapshot, higher degree of difficulty when it gets wet. Dawes did well there. Last seven scores in this match, all behind. So pretty evenly shared, three and four between the clubs. Cochin, quiet second term, hardly touched it after a bright start. Salem, under pressure ball to be thrown in. First time a moment ago we saw Rance really bounce off half bat, wasn't it? Let's see if he can impact in the second half. Not a lot of goals there. No, there, there's, no there's been, it's been a, a point made on seven occasions. Jamo goes back. Marriage, though, wins it down. Mitchie was being held and again dragged off the footy. Hello. 60 metres out Thanks, from the you. Tigers attacking goal. Right 36 back, right the back. sub for Richmond. McDonough. These conditions will suit him and Arnott, both in the team tonight. McIntosh went to ground, cross, gathers the ball, gets it out. Mitchie ricochets to Tyson, ran into a dead end, slung. Richmond! Richmond. Correct disposal or holding the ball, so it's a free kick to Asprey. He's on the wing. They're looking for that tall defender to compliment Rance. Asprey is in a queue as this ball bounces inside the forward 50. How mistimed his leap. That's unusual. Mitchie has tackled. And the ball up. Tyson a moment ago just been caught a few times tonight, hasn't he? I mean, he's had plenty of the ball. A couple of times a bad handball's put him under the pump in that first half. He just hasn't been as composed with the footy as what we've come to know from him. Just panicked a little bit. Duck said earlier that he's usually a player has a lot of time. Maybe not so tonight. Well, he did well there. Better there. Yep. And then the ball got out from Watts to Garland. That was pretty good stuff. And then at the back and off the ground. Just feel if Melbourne 
It's a big if. If they got the next two, that would be a really good lead. They've got their nose in front here. Is it still raining, Richard? Looks like it is. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. It's going to be really difficult for the players now. The ball's like a bit of soap already. Let us know when it stops, Hi. Matty. Will do, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Roddy, McDonough Jamie. getting a free kick. So the margin was three points at quarter time, Melbourne's way. It hasn't been larger than four either way since then. Real tight contest. McDonough, Griffiths, always dangerous, but harder to mark now. Edwards takes it out of bounds, bursting past that pack. And a throw in. Well, this is where the Tigers, when you have so many stoppages and the ball's in close, this is where you almost need a third man up. Marriott has to hit the ball into space just to put the Melbourne defenders under pressure in these slippery conditions. Jamar and Griffiths. So no marriage there. Griffiths knocks it down in front. Tyson onto the loose ball. Short of the wing. Asprey tries to fist it away. Well played by Kennedy Harris. Hogan's got it. Kicks down towards half forward. How will it bounce? Well, it doesn't matter. Morris slipped over. Garlett, can he break this drought? He's kicked a lot of behinds. He makes sure of this one. Melbourne by nine points. And as I said, the biggest lead either way since quarter time. That was a fair degree of luck. Morris backed himself, got in front, had a bit of clearance on the forward, but once he lost his footing, that was the end of the penny section. And Garland running into that open goal. Yeah, no, well done, Dees. It's sort of the rope of dope, wasn't it? <clears throat> I like this from Jesse Hogan. Just the mongrel chaos ball inside forward 50. In these conditions, anything can happen. Bit unlucky there for Morris, go. but he went to ground over the back. They kick a goal. Just get it in there. Make the defenders panic. Next goal now huge, you'd think. Jones to centre half forward. Ball to the back. Hogan again to Garland. They're becoming a good pair, aren't they? Yes, they are. Seven posters tonight. It's, he, it's his movement, Hogan. He just stays on the move, and all defenders hate that. If he stands okay. still as a forward to play into defenders' what? hands, Hogan is just constantly on the move. Well, if Melbourne get the next one, then the Tigers are going to be really pushing up the hill. Well, against the odds, <laughs> burning brightly, eh? As you'd expect. Well, Ronald Dale could do anything. He could walk on water himself, couldn't he? For sure could. Let him run! Boundary throw in. I'd like to see him tonight. Yep. Mitchie left it behind McDonough. That was clever. Ellis releases Edwards into space. That's ambitious, yeah. having a bounce, and it came back to him. OK, here's Hunt, still inside the centre square. Kicks it into a Melbourne player. It ricochets inside the forward 50, though. Howe takes the bouncing ball, gave it to cross to Brayshaw. So Brayshaw, in that centre square, goes out wide. Tyson on the move. He'll come back on his left foot or left hand. <laughs> I wouldn't have got him. There's a chance for Garland. Kicks down towards the pocket. Going back is Watts. Missed it. Not an easy ball to mark. Hooley. Rance misses the target. Now he turns the big fella around, Marriage. Rance trying to make amends. Crashes into the pack. Going after it down there was Vandenberg. Watts also anxious to do something. But the umpire has the final word. So this is a tricky mark for Watts. May have been able to almost take it on his chest on a day no, like today. Tyson, little toe poke from Vince. Cow, free kick, too high. Oh, Rance. Right. Go through, go through. I wonder if Cross can get okay, the distance from okay, here. Right here. No, no. Harry! Don't give it away. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, and I think Cross is. Has he had a shot and hit the post? So he played on the Watts, and Watts has duffed his lines and hit the post. So it's out of bounds on the fall for Jack Watts. There was talk about simulation too, wasn't there? Last year we were talking about that. The umpire not paying a free kick to Rance, but perhaps it was worth 50 then, if that's the case. Mitchie over right the top. It was Cochin. There's a big fight going on behind with Vince. Relax. Well, it was verbal early, wasn't it? Stand up. And it spilled over. Who's here? Who's here? Okay. 
getting personal now. We like this, Bruce. Let him stay the meter. <laughs> it's a fair bit of aggression in this game. Yes. Good to see. Good from up here. <laughs> Jamar goes after it. Vandenberg. Jamar reaching in somewhere, somehow. Spills out the back, trying to go off the ground. It's going to be called against Jones. Well, that was marginal because the pack was just surging after it. Jones didn't put much power on it because he knew they were there. High kick up towards the wing. Barrage. Just used the body on J-Mo. was looking for a free. Had an interesting duel. Similar types in a way. As Dan said, they don't get off the ground a lot. They're both great competitors. Edwards. Well done, Hal. Grig in the pocket. It's a good tackle. McDonald had to keep it in. The up was close. Get to the fairway out. Build it back inside. Miles back. Oh. Terrific tackle, Brayshaw. Melbourne. Well done, Angus Brayshaw. Geez, good. And now Jones is on. It's a dangerous kick. And the ball may be coming back. Cochin trying the one two, I think, there. But Vandenberg gets hold of Martin. Hunt. Hi, Richmond. Got the tackle high. coming and wins a free kick. Too high. No, Jones. Most unusual in a rookie to find he likes tackling. That was the word going into the draft. Cross misses it, as we said. No easy ball now. Ellis, Lumumba, haven't called his name too often. Cochin, like a thief oh, in the night, is taken high. Played to the whistle. Come down, come well down. done by come Trent down. Cochin. Richard, Richard free. He tackle. started Another brilliantly. Play, Probably Five had tackle. six possessions. Thank you. Bernie, come on. In the opening ten minutes, went to halftime with seven. No, he hasn't had a big night. He has spent a fair bit of time forward. So we have a look at him break away there. And just that uh, that hand. And Jack Watts, I think, that may have got him a little bit high. And doesn't matter how many you get, Dennis, but uh, this is a captain's goal. They need this, the Tigers. Yes. A dripping Cotchin is about 35 metres out directly in front. And this one is off to the right. Again, any error in the kicking style when the ball hits the boot. The boys up here would know better than I, but it magnifies what happens next. He was so careful over it, wasn't he? And that is his want. So Melbourne continually from the kick-out get it as far away from the 50 as they can. Coming back, though, Lloyd, neat kick. Oh, that's how difficult it is to mark. Salem, Griffiths. Brayshaw. Martin digging in hard. Getting the ball back. Let's have another look at uh, Jack Watts here. Now, similar to what he did last week, guys, I wrote an article today about, you know, Jack and give him the benefit of the doubt. But if it becomes, if it becomes a problem and you're doing it once or twice every game, then he does have to have a good look at what he's doing whether it's a technique thing or whether he is waiting for body contact. Only Jack can answer that, but I'm sure Paul Ruse and the uh, match committee will have a good chat to him about that particular marking contest. It's one of those ones that you just like to see him stand under and just take the mark, just to send a message to say, you know what, I learnt from last week, I'm not going to do it again. Again, he'd be really disappointed with that one. So, Richmond pushing hard here. Grig to fall forward. Revo. Well done, McDonald. They've had a terrific duel. Brayshaw really hard again. Wrapped up by Lloyd Baller. There's little spot fires everywhere here. As Dennis said, this is personal right now. Both teams are really at one another. I feel like there's a lot of dislike out there for the minute. And... Arnott trying to barge his way oh. through. Miles and the behind. Just opened up for him, didn't it? Done to bring it in. Wasting no time. Ray Shaw oh. enjoying this tempo. Not a good hand pass, though. Terrible hand pass. Down oh. goes Revolt. High says the umpire. So Revolt will take a shot, I would imagine, from about 35 metres out. He's been a little too selfless earlier on. I don't know about this one, Dennis. I reckon Rewalt slipped. I reckon that's just a good, fair attack on the ball. Oh, maybe he got him high, but gee, I don't know. I reckon the slipping and the lowering of the body led to the one being high. There's two players just going hard at it. Certainly the slipping. Couldn't help him. But Jack's shaking all of that off. 
The side down by eight points. No hook here. In deliberately. Kick is on the way. Right across the face. Behind. Margin is seven points. Tigers trail midway through this third term on Friday night football. So three goals, six from set shots tonight, the Tigers. They're leading the free kick count. They're 23 to 10 at the moment. So getting to that ball first, maybe. Garland through his hands. It's hard for everybody at the moment to take a mark. Hooley back to Ellis. Martin in his familiar style. Awkward kick. To Garland was good there. Really good to Mitchie. Long handball. Newton rode it. Jones versus Loston. T. Vandenberg, oh, good tackle. Is he rewarded? Well, it's a boundary throw in. That was terrific. He might not have been rewarded then, Bruce, but he just sent a big message to his teammates. That's how you tackle. That's how you attack the opposition and take the ball off them. Fantastic tackle by Vandenberg. We like him down in front of the pack. It's taken by Greg. Kicks with his right boot in front. Oh. Griffiths could have almost got a free kick. Arriving quickly, Edwards left it behind. Howe kicks it down towards half forward. Hooley peels off. Coming up to meet it, Hogan did well enough. Dawes put the brakes on, slipped over. Hogan comes again. Ball is out of bounds. Now, since late in that first term, the Tigers have kicked 2 10. And a lot of them set shots. Tricky now, I know, with the weather, but not for much of the match. Melbourne dangerous here. They haven't needed a lot of inside 50s to, to score tonight in comparison to their tie. So, Hooley haven't been... They're very good at doing that all year. They're ranked second on percentage scores from inside 50. They just don't generate enough of them to really be super dangerous for an entire game. But when they do get it in there, they certainly score. Yeah, they're 18th in terms of inside 50s. And as you say, but when they get in pretty good, free kick, surely. And definitely a free kick got thrown off the footy. But what they do, Link, is they get so many numbers behind the footy that when they do go forward, they seem to have a lot more space. They have more space to work in. Salem did really well there. They may be able to hold it up here, Melbourne. Lloyd's little give. Edwards off the step. Melbourne should comfortably mark. And Dunn gets 50. No, he doesn't. <laughs> what? Uh, no 50. No, but uh, no torpedo either. That was a highlight of the first quarter. The 70-metre torpedo from Dunn. Here's Vince. Left half back, Vince. Towards the wing, in from the side, Garland grazed it, pushed across the line by Hogan. Slogging affair now. One would have thought. Hmm. Marich, Doors, in from the side, Jama, nimble if you don't mind. Lamumba got boot to ball and just as well. Edwards, into his move early, gets it back from Marich, wants to give it off. Nobody coming, eventually goes to Lloyd. Lloyd under real pressure. Is that out of bounds on the full? Nobody touched it. It went virtually straight up in the air. Melbourne, quickly, into the middle. Came from how to cross. Cross goes out towards right half back, and now they can take off. Watts is the option in the middle. He'll be bypassed. Dunn, searching kick inside the forward 50. A lot of Tigers. Vandenberg was upended. He's about 40 metres out from goal. Keeping it alive. Comes to Watts. In real trouble, Watts. Took a long time to get rid of it. Gallup hand passes to Jones. Jones jams it on the boot. How will it bounce? It goes down towards full forward. Hogan there. Rance takes him down. The sharpshooter in the pocket. Gallup angles the ball. Smothered well by McIntosh. Comes across to Jones. In goes Ellis. Over the top goes Lamumba. I'm waiting for a whistle. It comes out the back. Now it's still alive for him. McDonough is tackled. Now it's taken by Newton. Can't break free. At the second attempt to Jones. More space this time. And he kicks a wonderful goal. Well, what do they say about perseverance? And who better mm. he exemplifies the word? Great call, Denon. Look, they were lucky because Watts threw the ball away after being held. It was a definite free kick to the Tigers. Didn't happen, but they just persisted. And Hogan, I know nothing much happened, but a moment ago, he kept his feet when he shouldn't have. He is going to be something very, very big. Thanks, guys. Jump out, jump out. Let's go. 
Well, it was hard fought, and uh, as Dennis said, who better than the skipper, eh? To give them the biggest lead of the match. He's, a, he's been a terrific player for a long time, but he's one who's grown with taking the captaincy. He's taken his game to a whole new level. He's inspirational. So Koch and Edwards has been busy. Lumumba takes the mark. It's been an Anzac Day hero for uh, Collingwood Lumumba over the years. Time is now. You see a player like Nathan Jones kick a goal for his team. The Richmond leaders have got to stand up now. Trent Cochin, Dustin Martin, Shane Edwards, Jack Rewalt. They need to start having an influence on this game. Otherwise, it'll get away from them. Gee, Vandenberg, what a quarter of footy he's played. He's a good size, isn't he? Goes down the line. Doors underneath. Newton back to Hogan. Hogan up the ground. And Asprey in a boundary throw in. So Melbourne have got those couple of goals we talked about. It's a dangerous moment for Richmond right here and now. Jamar and Marich, as they've done all night, go at it again. Marich in the second attempt takes possession over the shoulder. Mitchie tackle, falls to the ground, ball up. Some tired players looking forward to a break. Three quarter time, just five minutes away. Jamar, Koch in a chance. Lloyd, I think it was over the line before it touched his boot. And a boundary throw in. 13 points the difference. Richmond doing best around the packs, but Melbourne very much a rope a dope team. Jamar. Pushed him, Melbourne. Pushed him. Mark. So against marriage. Now, what can they set up here? Three goals at three quarter time would be huge in these conditions. Kicks to fall forward. Kennedy Harris was lurking. Rance takes them on. Hogan wrapped him up. Martin Clever got it out. Vlosten. Good tackle, Mitchie. And the ball squirts out for a boundary throw in. Well, that's the Paul Roos style of like that rope a dope, isn't it? You absorb, you absorb, and then on the counter attack, you score. And only 26 inside 50s. That proves that. That is very low for this stage of a game, but they have scored. Jones dangerously lurking. Newton over the top. Ball squirting out. Jones no free. Arnott can't get out. Vandenberg the first tackler in there. And again a ball up at centre half forward. And what can Melbourne set up here from a stoppage within striking distance of a three-goal lead? Jamar, Marich, they don't leave the ground. Vandenberg again fires away and goes out of bounds on the full. He's claiming it was touch, nothing doing. So Hunt will take this kick in the back pocket. They found a player with Vandenberg. Mm. He's up to 16 possessions now. All of them hard earned. Cross knocks it down. Miles grabs it. Swings it out wide, but only as far as Jamar. So the lead currently at 13. Four minutes out from three-quarter time. And Melbourne looking to extend it. Jamar sends it inside the forward 50. Dawes comes at it. Thumped away there by Asprey. Ball Melbourne around the ball. McDonald takes a while, then finds a way through. Sends it back inside the 50. Hogan pushed out of it. Well done by Rance. Gee, that was terrific, wasn't it? He was the last man standing. Rance to Hooley. We haven't seen a lot of that tonight. Hooley bouncing off half back. Only as far as Brayshaw. Melbourne on top. And 50. Yeah, this is what they've done really well, Melbourne. They've been able to have repeat entries and now. Well. He'll get a shot at goal from 35 out, young Brayshaw. Oh. Was that a bit short, that uh, 50? I think it Dennis? was. Uh, yeah, I think it was. Well, no, no, not that so much. Uh, the 50 itself. I think McIntosh is entitled to ask, where's your spray can? An umpire farmer could say wrong code. And Brayshaw is taking a shot at goal. Not sure how many shots he's had, but he hasn't kicked a goal before. First season plan, number three draft pick, likes tackling. Does he like a goal? Apparently. Hey, that's a big one in this game. Melbourne kick clear. Look at that, 62 to 43. Three minutes out from three-quarter time. Chief, and now hard, to, really hard to beat. I mean, if you could change your tip now, I reckon for the first time tonight, I'd, I'd flip from the Tigers to Melbourne for the first time.
And these are the guys you talked about, Lingy. You've got Martin, there's Cochin, there's Hooley. All your leaders, the Richmond Footy Club. These are the guys that have to get that next goal for Richmond. Well, Martin. On the man! Martin Martin. earns a free kick duck in the centre. So, how long have we got? We're three minutes to go. Three goals behind in some. They need the next goal. They've just got to find a way to get it, don't they? Just will themselves in the contest to win this ball and kick a goal. Revolt the target. Big flight the back, McDonald. Cross. Revolt gets hold of him, takes him down. Ball doesn't quite squirt out. In hard was McDonough. McDonald, oh, it took a while, but he is confident and then gets the ball a fair way from goal. Dawes takes a terrific mark. A couple of goals in the first quarter. That was strong. That was important. And McDonald, well, Revolt had a lot of the ball, but McDonald's having a pretty good match right now. Tyson goes down the line. Mitchie hurriedly. Advanced it to Vandenberg. Vandenberg touched off the boot. It bounces out of bounds. So just over two minutes. And the ball in a dangerous situation for the Tigers. That mark from Dawes when you're trying to get out of your defensive 50. I mean, that is just so important. You're able to get the momentum back. You're able to slow things down. I mean, in these conditions with a couple of minutes to go, you just don't want the Tigers to get that next goal. Jamar thumps at Goldwood. Vandenberg again to Vince. Vince hurriedly down towards full forward. Reaching in was Rance. Way to the pack, lost down. Was he taken high by Garlick? Now they're through Melbourne. Head down. Kennedy Nichols, or rather, Kennedy Harris, was thrown down by Ellis. Nothing doing. He ducked into it, says the umpire. Ooh, I reckon there are a few nervous Tigers fans right now. This is huge. In the pocket, Newton. Garlick, Garlick's kicked a goal, I think. He has. And Melbourne are four in front just before three quarter time. Well, Jeffrey Garlett with two third-quarter goals. And the Ds have got themselves into a winning position here. He's an interesting player, Garl. He kicked 48 goals one year, 43 another. You feel like there's a lot of footy left in him. And at Hogan's feet, he could be something, couldn't he? <laughs> Well, this is what we talk about when we talk about leadership. Just no organisation from Richmond players. Two or three go. goalkeeping and just allowing that space. I know it was a little bit of a fumble, but they had to kill that ball then. They couldn't let it out. Got a rebound here. Yeah. Time for a late goal. Edwards unloads. It will skid on, will it? Yes, it will. It's goal. How about that? Straight out of the middle. As though the other one didn't occur. Edwards gets his second. He's their best player, I reckon, tonight, Edwards, don't you? Yeah, good player, isn't he? He's been terrific. Gee, to say they needed, that's oh. an understatement, too. Uh, virtually on the ropes. And that's a little bit soft by Melbourne. It came out very easily. And everybody was up the ground. Can't afford, in these conditions, to let the ball get behind you. We asked for the response. Shane Edwards was the man to do it. He's been terrific all night. 21 touches, his second goal. So important. Great response by the Tigers. Is there time for one more? Well, it was 41 minutes between the last and that one, Lingy, so that would be something if they could get another in a minute. So Jones out wide. Kennedy Harris, bachelor, doesn't take it, decides to push it forward. G. Vandenberg so strong at the ball in this quarter. This young fella has made a mark, has he? As have a few other young fellas at Melbourne tonight. Big stage, we don't see them on a Friday night often. First time under Ruzi on a Friday night here, making an impression. Putting down a marker for the rest of the year. Vandenberg couldn't quite get it away. McDonough, both the subs utilised pretty early tonight. Salem read it best and takes the mark. You would think Melbourne, the only team now that could probably score a goal before three-quarter time. And Salem sets it up. Rance doesn't take the mark. Bounces away. Mitchie in a boundary throw in. Half a minute remaining. It's been Melbourne's quarter. Rance, Hogan, fascinating duel. As has McDonald and Revolt at the other end. Cochin quiet. 119 points then. Clock frozen on 35 seconds. Starts running again now. Marriage stretching. Doors got boot to ball. Garlet, big turn. 
find some space. Lumumba, bit of a fumble cost him. Scrambles a kick inside the forward 50. Dangerous one. Going back down there under real pressure. Vlostone gave it across to Morris. It was smothered off the boot. Kennedy, oh, Kennedy Harris was upended and thumped across the line by McDonough. Oh, take a bow, Nick Vlostone. Two efforts there to win the ball in the deck, first of all, but that's just desperation by Flostone. He's setting an example as a third-year player. A few of his teammates can take a leaf out of. Well done. The low contact still confuses me slightly. So the ball wide has been Melbourne's term, and they're going to have a good lead at three-quarter time. This match is set up perfectly, isn't it? The underdogs are in front. A 20-point margin on a big Friday night. The Anzac weekend, it's Melbourne 69 and Richmond 49. I reckon that Mike's had some shirt fronts tonight, don't you? Taking a hammering sounds of the game. Great stuff from Nathan Jones, and he's played his role, that's for sure. Three-quarter time, Melbourne lead by 20 points over Richmond. It's 69 to 49. Attention, please. Watch movie after movie, episode after episode of the world's most popular shows. Get more choice. Go to presto.com.au for a free 30-day trial. Thousands of movie titles in the library, more TV entertainment for the whole family. Richo, a moment has arrived for Richmond, hasn't it? It certainly has, Bruce. Big moment for their season, but take nothing away from this Melbourne footy club. They simply haven't allowed Richmond to play they, the way that they want to play, and that's a great effort by them. But Richmond have to adapt, and they didn't do that. In that third quarter, it was Melbourne that adapted to the conditions. They won key one-on-one -on -one contests in that quarter, but the area they killed Richmond in that quarter was kicking efficiency, plus 21% over the quarter. When they had opportunities to move forward, they used the ball better. And as has been the case all night, when they get inside 50, it is far more dangerous than Richmond. So all things being equal here, Richmond need a big lift out of their leaders. They've got to find a way to use the ball a little bit better, a little bit better in this wet weather. But at the moment, Melbourne are well on top. Yeah, absolutely, Richo. And that man there, Duck, he just senses it's his moment to, to do what Joel Selwood did last week for the Cats. Just take over this game, will his team to victory. Well, Nathan Jones doing it for Melbourne. They need Trent Cotchett to do it for Richmond. Start of the final term on Friday Night Football then. Margin 20 points. The underdogs on top. Marriage decisively. Danny Cotchett breaks away, kicks inside the forward 50. McDonald. The poise goes back and takes a timely defensive mark. Growing in stature. A great deal with Walker last week as this ball comes out towards the boundary. McIntosh to his own advantage. Ran into a dead end. Salem did well. Told there was possibility of more showers in the last quarter. I think, Richo, the heavy stuff stopped. We're right in saying that, aren't we? Yeah, the heavy stuff stopped, but it's just drizzling. It has been throughout that whole third quarter. It continues to do now. So that ball use is very vital when you get the opportunity, and Melbourne are better at this stage. Well, you reckon Richmond need five goals because the Ds will get one. So they need a five-goal last quarter. They've kicked six goals so far for the match. Cochin starting the quarter well with a clearance out of the centre. And they've put all their big guns up around the ball. Edwards has been terrific tonight. He's at this stoppage. Cochin's at this stoppage. See if they can win another clearance. Give their forwards a chance. Neither of these teams. Melbourne. Nathan Jones. Nathan Melbourne. Jones. Jeez, hurt himself too here. He's in trouble. He's cocked one on the shoulder. Melbourne are one down, guys, on the rotations as we have a look at that. Nate Jones copping one on that shoulder. But Neville Jetta failed a concussion test and has not uh, reappeared. When did that happen? Three-quarter time, Richard, did it? Yeah, just after half-time. Didn't hurt you long last week. Hogan up in front. Spilled it. Hooley crumbs it. Kicks it back over the wing. Awkward one. Powell missed it. 
Now a chance for Lloyd. Applies oh. a tackle to Jones, who was brilliant. Clairvoyant there. Gives it back to Howe. Howe kicks it down towards half forward. Hogan launched himself. Came to ground. Rance was held. No free kick. Running onto the loose ball is McIntosh. Sends it back down towards half forward. And Salem. He's done pretty well for a player of that size. He's taken a few good marks. Got big marks by Melbourne. McDonald at the start of this quarter and then Salem there. You just can't afford to have marks taken. You've got to bring the ball to the ground. He's got poise, Salem, hasn't he? He really does not get rattled. Oh. That kick from Howe, dangerous. Mitchie couldn't hold it up. Asprey, here's Cochin again. So takes the chance, runs it with a bounce, kicks the ball long to fall forward. Lloyd pushes off Salem, doesn't quite get the result he wanted. Martin doesn't go to ground too often. McDonald did well, paddling. Edwards has been terrific. Toe poking forward, Edwards. Won't be a score. Getting back, Garland has some... Well, he had more time than that. He really could have run it out a bit further, but he gets it down the line. Gee, J. Ma was good then. Getting it down to Hurley. He's a left footer, we know that. Good tackle, though, by Kennedy Harris. Good little give from Vince. J. Ma, last man with marriage. A couple of draft horses at Flemington. Going stride for stride. All his quick kick. Sorry, sorry, dude. McDonald goes back <laughs> and knocks it across the boundary line. What an anti-climax. <laughs> It would be a slow run up the straight, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't think they'd be happy with the draft horse. Oh, it's, a, <laughs> it's a heavy track. <laughs> well, run up, run up, I don't now. think they'd be hurdlers. <laughs> Tossed in. Marriage knocks it down. Miles found a way through. Throw, Melbourne. He threw it. Calm down. Throw. Melbourne. Umpire Farmer on a perfect it. angle there. Three kicks have been few and far between for Melbourne. 24 to 14. Here's Vince from half back. Sends a high one just beyond the wing. In front of Hogan again, always giving a contest. Rance spilt it. Bachelor couldn't find a way through. Jones seems to be OK. Dangerous ball inside the forward 50. Oh, terrific mark. Lost on the contact and then the concentration. He did well and now releases Greg, who's a left footer, though, so he has to come back. Garland on the mark. This first goal is massive for either team here. If Melbourne get it, you reckon they're going to win? Garland, Ellis, squeezing out, Martin, stood up well, clever little kick, Greg, off a step, done, way, oh, Revel, incredible leap, almost held it, ball not out, Melbourne holding up, still not out, Revolt searching, searching, squeezing, Greg, good smother coming from Dunn, Cochin been busy early, responding to the challenge, Back to Miles, it was Miles, Salem's kick to the pocket. Greg gets it to Lloyd, lovely little step. Can he get the ball to set our forward, oh. run down from the back? Still no free kick. And that's Contact the one we were talking about earlier, and below the knees. Contact against Larry. It's a strange one, isn't it? Because it just looks wrong when it happens. You feel like it should go the other way, but it's there for a good reason. Salem plays on then. Almost a spectacular mark by Jack Revolt moments ago. I think somewhere Jamie Elliott is chuckling. Gee, this was good. Oh, not quite, but uh, I think you're right, Dennis. There'll be a few Collingwood supporters <laughs> saying maybe Elliott's wasn't a mark either. Oh, hang on. <laughs> The Pie supporters won't be. <laughs> the Saints ones might. Well, <laughs> Brayshaw trying to find a way out of there. Miles to Hunt off balance. Kicks inside the forward 50. Well done by the man coming up. Howe got a fist on it. Not a powerful one, but knocked it the right way. Rebolt yet to kick a goal. And he kicks his fourth behind. Wow, he's had a lot of the football, Jack. He's had enough to have kicked five, hasn't he? He really has. So... 16 disposals for Revolt, nine kicks with four behinds. Now, That's Richmond have got to defend well here. I know they need to attack this quarter, but what they've got to do is generate repeat inside 50s. They can't let Melbourne transfer the ball down the ground easily. Crosses kick. Hold there, Mark. Hogan. Get on, play on. So down the line, the kick. Doors the target. Garlic dangerous here. Morris did well, wants the boundary line, finds it, and a boundary throw in. Where does Hogan sit, do you think, with guys like Boyd and that are of a similar age? Is he as good as any of the 
good young ones. He's well, better he's, than Boyd. Well, he's only three games in, and on the evidence that we're seeing tonight, he's, he's ahead of Boyd. Jamar thumps it wide. Cochin. Close to the boundary line, it's Miles. Worried out of it by Mitchy. boundary throwing. Hogan, he just seems to be able to win a one-on-one -on -one when needed. When he needs a, a key contest, he wins it every time. And it's been a good, what has he had possession-wise? He's only had 12, but it's been a very good 12 possessions. Yeah, he competes. He's happy to fight a draw sometimes, which is good for his team. Just keeps it in the area. The boy from Marist College in Western Australia came to the Demons via Claremont in the WAFL. Hunt. Brayshaw again. I think the fact that he gets around the ground, he has a real appetite for the contest. He gets around the ground better than the likes of Boyd and a couple of others. I know Patton's got an injury, but he's another one that probably doesn't move as well. Cotchen scrambles the ball out. Revolt up the ground. Garlett, two goals in the third quarter. Off balance on the left, a half forward. Had some numbers there, Melbourne. Mitchy, Vince provides the shepherd. Mitchy probably got a high oh, one. Oh, Melbourne, go through. McDonough just a bit no, stop. careless Melbourne. there. I don't know about Biff, you, Richo, Biff, but uh, I'm not sure if the Tigers could get up here. No, I don't, I don't think so, because Melbourne simply are better and cleaner in these wet conditions in this second half, far better. And uh, they just seem to be able to win the crucial contest. Well, what happens in the next minute vital here? Because Melbourne have got a real chance. Oh, gee, that was a mark paid. And it's a good mark by Vince. And he's got the length here, Vince. He, he, can, he can get the length here. He can, he can goal. Well, he's been good tonight again, Bernie Vince. Let's have a look at uh, just the distance. Yep. <laughs> Happy that it was the 15. Bruce, he's been good tonight. Done a good job on Cochin. Be great to finish off with a big goal here. Well, he'll be long enough. That's a big night. That is a really big night. Weekend of Bernie's, eh? <laughs> Well, that, that goes from good to really good, doesn't it, when you do that? That would be on Presto, a weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, but uh, he, is, uh, he has been terrific all night. The only time he hasn't been on Cochin is when Cochin has gone forward. So, Great advantage when you've got a long leg in. Gee, it helps. <laughs> Best way to beat an opponent when you're playing on a gun is to score on them, kick goals on them and doesn't okay, Bernie Vince guy. love that? He knows how important that goal was. That's helped his team big time. Jamar thumps at 20 metres. Bodies go in willingly. Hunt and Brayshaw met at the foot. He comes to Newton. He kicks it inside the forward 50. Big leap by Garlett. Spills towards the boundary. Watts has got the run of it. Is that in the back? I doubt it. And the ball trickles out of bounds. Watts tackled by Batchelor throw in but Richmond with their backs against oh. the wall now <laughs> it's a supremely fit athlete <laughs> I, I was gonna say I wish that fella had his back against the wall would have been a better side but that's okay that was a commitment wasn't it yes Newton on the right side Vince hooking back to full forward Cochin building it away Vandenberg so impressive big strong body Michi Taken down by McIntosh, free kick. Putting the man, Melbourne. So the advantage, no, coming back to Mitchy. Been good since he's come on as a sub, Mitchy. Up to 12 possessions, this will be his 13th. Play on. He's had a yeah. real battle to make it in AFL. Hogan, yes, not quite. Oh. Dawes, Jones, still not with Jones. Getting it out. Well done, McDonough. Little one. Yeah. Actually, it was miles to McDonough. And that one, wanting... McIntosh and ball still in. Yep. Oh, well played by Garlett. The presence of mind just to nudge his opponent. Gets it across to cross. Not his best kick. Hangs a long wow. time in the air. Watts almost the mark. Asprey picks it up. Martin comes away from half back. Looks across the ground. Now the runner is Ellis. He's tracking the football. Nobody coming to meet him. It's a tall order for Newton to try and cut him off. He's done well enough. Goes short. Mark is spilt down there by Gordon. Stolen away by Howe. 
Melbourne come away with the football to their half forward line. Now trying to turn his marker inside out is Kennedy Harris. He was going back after the footy and that was almost a free kick. We've got a throw in. It's been good to see yeah. Melbourne this quarter. They haven't gone ultra defensive. They haven't thrown numbers behind the play. They're still playing the type of footy that got them up in the first place. So it's the right way to play in a close game. Vince. Jones got it from Mitchy. Well done, Jones. That was clever again. And then Mitchy quickly onto the boot to the pocket. Hogan launches himself and takes a beauty. Mark. Oh, he's going to be something if he's not already, eh? Well, that's what you love about him. He was never really going to mark that ball, but what he said is he said, I'm going to crash this pack, and he just he, he just flew at it. Well, you said Jonathan Brown and Nick Revolt at half-time. There was a bit of that there, wasn't there? A bit of Jonathan Brown in, in that mark, wasn't there? He just loves the contest. Well, as Richo said, that the disposal number might be high, but they've, what they've added up to is something very big tonight. And from the pocket, yes, he has. Well, he loves a big occasion already. We're looking at a bona fide star in the making here. Can a star be born on a Friday night at the MCG? Why not, eh? What I love about it, uh, Bruce, is the fact that uh, it's in wet, wet conditions. He's 195 centimetres tall. He's been the cleanest player. He's been one of the cleanest players out there. He's just really clean. Everything he's done has been at a very high quality, and that finish was exactly that. I think when Melbourne went to the doldrums, that gentleman was 15 kilos lighter. Well, what a great night this is. 13 contested marks for the season, and he's going to take plenty more because he simply throws himself into the contest. And I'm sitting in front of the Melbourne members here, and they've got a new star, the Melbourne Footy Club. Absolutely loving him. One bloke just ran down, took his top off on the fence and swung it around. Oh. But he was one bloke who maybe should have left it on, actually. <laughs> Richo, you must have loved that moment where he did, didn't look as though he was going to get to that contest, but he just gritted his teeth and thought, I'm going to launch at this no matter what. Yeah, exactly. He wills himself into the contest, but then All to right, have the composure, Lingy, to go back on the boundary line and seal the game if it wasn't already wow. won. Uh, he's a star. Cotchin taken high, gets the free kick, sends it inside the forward 50, but right oh, onto the chest oh. of Garland. He saw Revolt coming up belatedly. It was intended for him. He was on the lead. Garland sends it to the outer side. Bachelor from behind. Mitchie's been good. Dunn improvising. Did well. Arnott takes it across the boundary line. So the clock stops. It's under 10 minutes now. The margin is 31 points. The composure on the right. And the gloom on the left. Well, it's a nightmare for Damien again, isn't it? I mean... Revisiting last year when Melbourne beat them. I think at a similar time of the year. It was a big occasion for Richmond. That a, a celebration type day. and didn't turn out too well. We know what happened in the end with the, the nine consecutive wins. But this is a, a disastrous night for the Tigers. And I think that night too they kicked very badly, didn't they, the Tigers? Or that day? It was, a Tommy, it was Tommy Hafey, wasn't it? The dear Tommy Hafey. Yep, you. you're right, Dan. So this is, uh, this is a huge setback for them. You talked, Lingy, at the start of the night about how important it was for them to, to take these matches and just win them. Yeah, they've got to beat these teams, and they haven't done it tonight. It's been terrific by Melbourne, though. Tyson free kick. Push, Melbourne. Oh, against Hawley. Yeah, definite free kick uh, ran into him. Smart by uh, Dom Tyson, though. He actually came forward and drew the contact, didn't he? Turned around, forced the umpire to pay the decision. Hasn't been his best night, Dom Tyson. He's uh, made a couple of uh, couple of errors, but uh, uh, the game is over. And he'll go back and slot this one, I reckon, Lingy. 35 metres out. Ooh. And he misses. So. Seems... Uh, as if it won't make a difference because Richmond have completely stalled here. And Melbourne on their way to a really big win. Arguably one of the biggest wins, what, of the last seven, eight years for them here tonight on a Friday night. Yep. Especially when you can see the future is 
Hearts might go out on the full no touch on the way out. But when you can see the future too, Angus Brayshaw, his fierceness around the contest, his tackling, Jesse Hogan we've absolutely loved. Vandenberg's been outstanding tonight. And you throw in a couple of other blokes who are out injured, Jack Viney and, of course, Christian Petrarca. It's pretty exciting for the Melbourne Footy Club. It's happened pretty quickly too, hasn't it? Not so much last year, but it's consolidated this year. I think we'll get a whistle and a ball up. Eventually. And Josh on the ball. Melbourne defeated Richmond round nine last year. And Richmond kicked 9-20. So, again tonight, their accuracy has been very poor. In from the side, Greek relish the roll third up but not much happens McDonough under pressure Vandenberg hit him hard there's no other way Vandenberg Mark is taken here by Lumumba releases McDonald risky business McDonald lost his traction and passes straight to Lloyd hasn't had a good night tonight Lloyd ran into the arms of Lumumba Brayshaw foxes the football or tried to crashing the pack Vandenberg leaving it behind initially Cochin Jones took the hips well done comes across to Arnott high ball inside the 50 I'm not sure they talked but Cross had the better judgment you know you're talking about round nine last year that was more about Richmond losing I reckon tonight is more about Melbourne winning than Richmond losing yeah, quite right. I totally agree uh, we said before the game Lee, the keys to the game was a couple of those contests, Vince on to Cochin. Vince has taken the uh, the points. We said that if that happened, Melbourne were a big chance. And it was also McDonald on Rewalt. And you would say that Rewalt certainly got off to a good start. Too much of the ball outside 50. McDonald's fought back well and probably takes the honours there tonight. So they've won those two. They win the game. And Hogan's done And Hogan at enough, the other yeah. end on an All-Australian centre-half back. Jack, Jack Rewalt's almost played himself out of form tonight because he's had so much of the ball at times. But... He certainly has been constructive, but he hasn't hit the scoreboard. Good tackle by Kennedy Harris. Can a bloke be too unselfish, do you think, sometimes? I mean, you feel with Revolt, he is on occasion. Oh, he, was, he was unbeatable in that first half. He, he, he simply was. He was beating McDonald in all the one-on-ones, but just in the, I guess, the wrong parts of the ground. Morris went to ground. Salem trying to find a way through over the shoulder. Taken high. Newton will get the free kick. Well, it seems they're Good home on. now, but right Thanks, right on. not much experience at winning. If the Tigers could just string a couple Good of goals on. together quickly, who knows? Newton kicks inside the forward 50. Jamar couldn't complete the mark. Vince timed the release nicely. Mitchie under pressure, close to the boundary line. Could fall in short. Knocked away from Tyson down there by Hunt. Slung out of the pack as Tyson didn't have the footy. He'll get the free Reversal. kick and finish the contest. Oh, no. Prohibited contact. Fucking hell, mate. Wow. Fucking hell. Vandenberg has been penalised. And I'm sure, you. win, lose or draw, Paul Rules will make a very strong point to his youngster number 37. I reckon Dom Tyson will too, Dan. <laughs> well, they haven't been two and two since 2011, Melbourne, so it's four years ago since they've been at parity, at least parity after four rounds. And this is the biggest crowd they've won in front of for at least a couple of years and some. 58,000 here tonight, so terrific turn up so they really want this to be the Anzac Eve match these two clubs with that tradition that link to World War One and World War Two. remember that Melbourne used punt road for those years through the 1940s they were so much together these two clubs and I think with 58,000 tonight they've proved a point oh, terrific crowd Jamar Marich by, by McDonough and that was out of bounds surely wasn't 15. Might bring it in. Wasn't 15. So out. So inside then over. Throw it in then. Well, Cochin certainly has gritted his teeth in this last quarter, but he hasn't been able to bring anyone with him and, and make the difference that we thought he might at three quarter time. Both these guys have been great too. Really oh, hard work Richmond, at a night Richmond. like tonight. And they've done it all virtually. Richmond, hold. Marriage gets a free kick. I'm back on. He's on the wing. Cruising past and on his right side here is Hooley. Has a bounce. 
Carries the ball down come towards half forward. Kicks inside the 50. Lamumba! Oh. Almost the big grab. Falls to Morris. Hand passes to Edwards under real pressure. Puts it out of bounds on the floor. And they've let the Tigers come so far tonight, and then the pressure really cracks down. Watch this again. We've seen a few of those tonight, haven't we? Lumumba's been the man who's been pushed behind the ball now, just to ice the game a bit, just to make sure there's no little run. I think it's going to be it's too late anyway. But just in case, Lumumba's going to play as a loose man, just hold the Tigers up. Viney, of course, to come back into this team. Another real hard nut for the Ds. Speaking of hard nuts, Jones kicks it down the line. Tyson's tackle good. Rance. Hogan. Talked a lot about him. And runs it out. Shows how important you, your experienced players are in today's football, your leaders. Look at Nick Floston just cop one. Bit of friendly fire. Lucky didn't get him flush. But you're important, important your, your senior players, Delidio, Chaplin, Newman missing for the Tigers. They just didn't have those extra group of leaders that could get them over the line when they really needed to, when it was crucial. Vince, well, remember last year when Rance and Delidio were out and Richmond were really struggling around about this time? So the other thing you'd love to see is the intelligence Rance gives the club on Hogan at the end of the night. I mean, what, what he, his assessment of playing on Hogan, first time he's played on him at might, the end of the night is. There might be a few other clubs queuing up for that intelligence, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> How do you stop him? Oh, on Grig. No, he dropped out. Come back around. Grig was going to be the third man up and on. was blocked, so he's getting the free. He's done that a lot tonight. Not get the free, but the third man up. Hooley, a couple of emphatic bounces, runs down towards half four, then a shocking kick. Slides off the outside of the boot and runs out of bounds. That's an example of Richmond. They just haven't adapted at all. I mean, if you're running straight at goal in that position there in the wet, you, you probably just need to get that to the top of the square. And Melbourne adapted a lot better and shut Richmond's game down. And that's been the tale this, tonight. Behind the pack, Ellis had it knocked away by Howe. <laughs> Ugly pack, another ball up. I think he was going to honour the lead of Revolt. Brendan McCartney there on the bench. Just probably having a bit of a chat. Not at the moment, but he would be in Jack Watts' ear. Just telling him the things he needs to work on. Fantastic development coach, teaching coach Brendan McCartney. He'll be great for this young Demons outfit. It's Jeremy Howe. Free kick for too high. Got to say, Lingy, I looked through the media guide today, the assistant coaches at Melbourne. I was really impressed. I mean, Paul Roos has got himself a really good team around him, hasn't he? So Hogan and Rance has been a terrific duel. Cochin and Vince, another really interesting duel. Martin, little give. Edwards has played well. Arguably the best for the Tigers for much of the night. That was sloppy. Put his skipper under pressure. She that hurt, I think. He's in a bit of trouble here, Mitchie. Yeah, yeah. Quick kick by McIntosh to the pocket. As Mitchie really, his ribs have taken a battering there. So how do we read this one? Oh, that's the one, isn't it? Is that a free it? kick yeah. to Cochin or not? It's hard for Mitchie because you can see him going the ball, but that is so dangerous for Trent Cochin. That's uh, like the Jimmy Bartel medial ligament, that one. That's what we're trying to stop. McDonough, no way through. Watts is over the football. McDonough applies some pressure. Whistle. So this is going to be a grand victory for Melbourne. Let him up, let him up. Big Friday night crowd as well as a big crowd at the MCG. If that makes sense. We're talking about around the country. So a good time to put in a good performance. They're not often on Friday night football marriage with the outside of the boot and through it goes yeah. for a minor score. Dunn dutifully goes back. This defense has been outstanding tonight. Dunn to the pocket. Jamar's in front, punched away by Marich. Bit of a fumble from Vandenberg. Kennedy Harris had his hand pass knocked towards the boundary. Goes back and almost foxed it again. Vince is trying to get it out there. Comes back towards Cochin, off balance. Lost the football. Marich spills across to Miles. He goes inside the forward 50. Springhill Jack went up. Lamumba knocked it away. Recovers brilliantly on the 50. It's Melbourne's night tonight. Sure is, Ding. Kicks to centre wing. Tigers with some numbers here, but they run into one another. Hi, Garlett. So, Garlett's had a good night. And now he has to come back over the mark. Get your top four in a minute, Duck. Tell you one thing, 
All these 15 points that um, Richmond have had, I don't reckon Melbourne have had a short pass from the kick in once tonight. They have every time booted the ball as long and as far out, starting with Lyndon Dunn's torpedo early in that first quarter. So Garlic kicks to half forward. Dawes has been good. Fly from Watts, that would have been something had he taken that. Correct disposal, advantage! And advantage. Newton is, well, he's got himself into a pickle. And a behind, so Rance, hopefully he's okay. Lower leg, or is it just cramp? I think it looks like cramp. Yeah. You don't want to be losing Alex Rance right now. It's been a dirty night anyway, with what will be a loss. You don't want to lose your All-Australian centre-half back. So Jones, been terrific. Got it from Cross. Lloyd working back. Miles tried hard. Martin, not his best game. Arnott, the left footer sold into trouble. Bit lucky, taken too high. Built low to the ground. He kicks towards half forward. Revolt's got it. Up from half forward, just the attacking side of centre wing. He's run to some extraordinary positions tonight. Rance, I think, wants to come off. As Rebolt kicks inside the forward 50, Bernie Vince is lurking behind. McDonald kept his balance wonderfully. He's an emerging player, McDonald. He's not highly skilled, there's no question about that, but talk about wholehearted. And he slammed that one onto the chest of Dunn as if to make me a liar. To center wing. So, Duck, what about your top four tonight? Yeah, look, I've, uh, obviously, Jones, the captain for Melbourne, has been uh, absolutely terrific. Bernie Vince with his job on uh, Cochin. I reckon Jesse Hogan, uh, you know, All-Australian centre-half back, he's been, uh, been very, very good, and Edwards has been Richmond's uh, best player. Well, three of those four were big talking points coming into tonight, weren't they? And yep. That's how it's played out, and the Ds are going to win. And win big Martin, strolling away, check-siding it, trying to get the right angle, but... Jamer. So if Richmond don't score, and it looks unlikely, this will be the lowest score Melbourne has conceded in a match for five years. And it's been a really big night for them. Big crowd, big win, big hopes. Feel like it's a, a bit of a line in the sand. You feel like from this point on, there's a lot more respect for this footy club. There is, and at two and two, the players start to believe it too. They, they believe in everything they've been working on all summer because they're starting to see some results. They see a few numbers in that wins column. All of a sudden they think, oh gee, we can play this game and not just individually, as an entire team. We can play AFL footy and we can play it well. Free kick down to Morris. Marriage runs on. 24 possessions now for oh. Miles. Oh, strong tackle. Down goes on it. Dallin got him. Melbourne bring it away. Some tight players out there. Richie can barely go. Asprey picks it up across to McIntosh. Brayshaw in pursuit. Brayshaw still in pursuit. Ellis kicks inside the forward 50. McDonald came to it. Cross could have been taken high. And a watershed moment for Melbourne. The signs were there last week. And this has been a terrific night for the Demons. It's a grand old For young Drummond, a sad night. Let's go down to you, Rich. Are you with uh, a bloke who iced it in the end, didn't he, Bernie Vince? Yeah, I am, Bernie. That's a terrific win. That's always good in a grinding wet conditions to come away with the win, and you're really building something here at Melbourne Footy Club now. Yeah, really gutsy win from the guys. I, I thought our young guys really stood up tonight. Uh, Gussie Brayshaw, really good. Jake and the Harris, those sort of boys. Thanks, mate. Uh, but yeah, no, very good in the in the wet too. So uh, great crowd. Get used to these Friday nights. It's good. 
Well, just on the Friday night footy, how was the experience before the game with the uh, ceremony for the Antarks? Yeah, very moving. Went down to the Shrine uh, on Thursday and um, did a bit of a tour and, you know, what they went through, you can't compare it to footy, but we wanted to take a leaf out of their books and, and go into battle tonight. And to our credit, we stood up. So your defence stood up all over the ground, but particularly you guys in that back six. Yeah, Tommy McDonald's been outstanding, but um, he's getting all the credit for it. But Dunny's been good, Christian Salem, all the guys, Howie, um, really just playing our role. We don't have anyone that really stands out each week. It's just, apart from Hogs tonight, he was pretty handy, but um, just an even effort across the board. What's it like as teammates when you look inside 50, you know you've got a guy like Jesse who's going to give you a huge contest? Mate, it's pretty special because you kick it in there and half the time he grabs it and it was pretty wet and slippery tonight and he's still clunking them and going back, kicking great goals. Um, you know, we've got a couple of guys up there now, Dorsey, here we've got Gorney in the, in the reserves and... Um, you know, really building some um, strength in our VFL side too. So, Mate, you're playing the run with roles. I don't know if you call it tagging anymore, but uh, what's it like? You're going to be public enemy number one now. Yeah, I know. I used to have people running with me, but I oh, just sort of starting on guys and working from there. They sort of drag you to the ball anyway. So, um, yeah, not really a hard tag. But... Well done, Bernie. No, nah, thanks, Richard. I think it was a hard tag last weekend in Adelaide, don't you? But gee, what about Nathan Jones a minute ago? I mean, how close they were in there with the skipper talking to them it was it was pretty stirring stuff on it yeah and you'd listen to every single word that bloke says because he leads by example duck gave him the best on ground tonight and he was thoroughly deserved 24 possessions 14 of those contested five clearances six tackles he leads by example he is a special player for the melbourne footy club duck do you think he's gone from a good player in a bad team to a genuine really good player no i think he's always been a really good player he's won a couple of best and fairest but uh, as like he said during the call with the captaincy he's, ju he's just grown with it he loves it he loves the extra responsibility and wasn't it great sounds of the game tonight with the captain i mean just so constructive with his voice tonight i thought well, Jesse Hogan, eh? what a mark he's made tonight. Matty Richardson. Oh, he certainly has. Bruce, Jesse, you get used to this one. How do you enjoy playing on the MCG Friday night footy? Yeah, well, I think for me, obviously, I don't embrace as much as the other boys. I think Chunk was saying he's played one Friday night game and he's been here for eight years. So I get to play my fourth game in a win, so in an upset. So not much more I could ask for. It's an awesome experience, but we can't be complacent. We won on the G round one and then we got smashed by GWS. So... Enjoy it for the moment and then on to next week. Mate, your own game was sensational. What do you base your game on? It looks to me that you base it on work rate and just hitting the contest as hard as you can. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I've, I, yeah, you're pretty much right. I base myself on work rate. And if I'm working hard, generally I'm getting around the ball, making a contest and just playing my role. And Anything other than that is just a bonus. So, yeah, just work rate. You've got a good uh, looking forward line down there now. Jeffy Garlett passing around. Chris Dawes got great work rate as well. It looks like you're really building a good team down there. Yeah, well, even we got Dean Ken, who's young as well, and Jay Kennedy Harris. So we're very versatile. We're pretty quick, and we're pretty hard to match up on. So yeah, we're, you know, we're, we're getting there, but yeah, plenty, plenty of work to go. I just looking at the Melbourne members there. I've, I've got a feeling they are pretty happy with you. Oh mate, they love it. Like you know, we don't. We've gone through some tough times. So wins for us are a bit different to everyone else. But hopefully, we can get a bit more used to it, and we can win on a weekly basis and get three to four wins in a row. But. Yeah, you know, we gotta, gotta love it. I might enjoy it, deserve it. Well done. I know that's soon.